an important matrix operation, which we'll see many uses for as we progress through this course, is the transpose of a matrix. The transpose of a matrix A is denoted AT, so we put that T in the superscript, and it's the matrix whose columns are the successive rows of the matrix A. So to find A transpose, we simply swap the rows and columns. In this video, we'll talk about this definition, go over some examples, and some interesting properties of the transpose. Here's what it looks like with an arbitrary example. This is a matrix A, its dimensions are M by N. It has M rows and N columns. To find a transpose, the rows of A will now play the role of the columns of A transpose. So you see this first row of A, A11, A12, all the way up through A1N. It's precisely those entries which make up the first column of A transpose. This first row has become the first column, A11, A12, all the way up through A1N. And of course, this transpose has dimensions N by M, so it's like the reverse of A in terms of the dimensions. You can see how the second row of A is the second column of A transpose. We could also talk about this the other way around. So for example, we notice the first column of A is the first row of A transpose. The second column of A is the second row of A transpose. So we can say that the rows of A become the columns of A transpose. We could also say the columns of A become the rows of A transpose. You could also think of it like this. If A transpose is a matrix B, then the entry in row I and column J of B is the entry in row J and column I of A. Here are four examples. You can pause the video and try them yourself, finding the transpose of each matrix before watching on. Let's go over the solutions now. The matrix A has a single column. To find A transpose, that single column becomes the single row. You could also think of it as A having two rows, and so each of those rows becomes a column in A transpose. Now what about B and B transpose? To find B transpose, we take the rows of B and use those to construct the columns of B transpose, which looks like that. You can see this first row as the first column. You can see this second column, for example, as the second row. You can see this third row as the third column. The rows and columns have swapped. That's how we find B transpose. Now what about C? Well, C is 3 by 2, so C transpose will be 2 by 3, and we'll have C's rows as its columns. And it looks like that. There's a row, and it's a column in C transpose. Second row, second column. Third row, third column. Last example, matrix D, let's find its transpose. D transpose looks like that. You can see the first row there as the first column, the second row as the second column, and so on. One thing you might notice is that D and D transpose here are actually the same. This means that D is what we call a symmetric matrix. That's a matrix that's equal to its own transpose. Another way to recognize that is that D is symmetric about its main diagonal. Notice how these threes are mirrored across the diagonal. These zeros are mirrored. These zeros are mirrored. So D is a symmetric matrix. It's equal to its own transpose. Now, certainly not every matrix is symmetric. For example, the matrix B is not symmetric. It's not equal to its transpose. But we can use transposes to construct symmetric matrices. For example, let's suppose we multiply the matrices B and B transpose. So here's B, and we're multiplying it by its own transpose. It's a pain in the butt to calculate. We would first have 1 plus 4 plus 9, and then 4 plus 10 plus 18, and then 7 plus 16 plus 27, and so on. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing matrix multiplication if you need to review. 
you, but you can verify the result ends up being this. And look at this. This is a symmetric matrix. You can see how it's symmetric across its main diagonal. The transpose of this matrix, which is B, B transpose, the transpose of this matrix would be itself. So if you take a matrix and multiply it by its transpose, you get a symmetric matrix. Pretty interesting. Lastly, let's touch on how to take the transpose of a matrix product. How it works is that you have to take the transpose of the component matrices and reverse the order. So for example, CE transpose is E transpose C transpose. So we've taken the transpose of those two matrices and we've swapped the order. Now the matrix C here is the same one that we had in the previous example and E is a new matrix seen here. To verify that this is true, that the transpose of a matrix product works this way, we can take C transpose, which is this, and E transpose, which is this, and then do the computations. So CE is going to be this matrix, C, times this matrix, E, which is this. We would have 0 plus 6 seen there, then we would have 0 plus 2 seen there, and so on. So that's CE, and then it's straightforward to find CE transpose. CE transpose is right there. The first row, first column, second row, second column, and so on. So that's CE transpose. And based on this statement, it should be that this is the same as E transpose times C transpose. So let's do that multiplication and verify. Here is E transpose. Here is C transpose. And if we do the multiplication, we would have 0 plus 6. Then we would have 4 plus 18, then we would have 8 plus 30, and so on. In the end, we see that E transpose C transpose is indeed equal to C E transpose. So how do you find the transpose of a matrix product AB? Well, you take B transpose times A transpose. So transpose of the component matrices and swap the order. So that's what the transpose of a matrix is, how to find it, and some interesting examples and properties. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.